everybody, Brian Casella here. I just turned 30 years old. I'm a real estate agent here in Southern California, right on the border of North Orange County and Eastern LA County. Um, I wanted to make this video today because I have a lot of people always reaching out to me saying, what do you do for a living? How did you buy this uh, Nissan GTR? So forth and so forth. So I wanted to make an educational video to help some people out, give them some insight, give them some tips, and basically share my path to see if it'll help them. Now before I begin, I know I'm gonna get a lot of flaming comments saying you can get a used GTR that's a 2009 with 50,000 miles on it for 60 grand, it's not that expensive, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the MSRP on my 2014 track edition is $117,000, okay? Now, did I or anybody else who buys a supercar ever pay retail? Never, almost never, okay? However, the point still stands. It's still a $117,000 car. And as you can see, just between the diffuser, the wing, the exhaust, I've done a lot of modifications to it. And with all the money I've spent on this and on modifications, I could have easily bought myself a Lamborghini. However, I'm a fan of the GTR and I wanted to buy this particular one. Okay, so let's get into the video. When I thought about buying it, I was about 26, 27, getting into the real estate industry. And how did I do it? You know, I knew I had to do real estate because real estate basically is a commission job and I know the with the home prices out here, I'm gonna make a lot of money. So for anybody out there who is thinking about, you know, buying a car like this or a Lamborghini or whatever it is, you really need to come to terms that you're gonna to have to own your own business. And if you work for somebody else, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to generate the kind of income and passive income and residual income, which I'll cover in a second, to afford something like this and purchase it correctly. Because there's there's two ways you can do it. Number one is you spend your whole life saving up for it, you buy it, and then you basically live for your car, or you do what I did and what most other people do who understand money on a very, very deep level and have a much better overall understanding of it, is we buy this car with money that we had been putting aside for a while, but a small portion of it. That way, the cost of, of this over time does not even eat five to 10% of what our actual income is every month, okay? Because with what I just make passively and residually, meaning what I don't make for my main career, which is real estate, I have enough to pay for this, my car payment on this, my house and everything else, okay? And I'm gonna get into that. So if I could give you one tip, of course, save your money. If you want to buy the car, you buy it. You save your money. You earn your income. Start your own business. Okay, now a lot of you are going to say, well, you know, I'm going to college, this and that, this and that. And I can tell you that being an entrepreneur when you first start is very difficult. You're going to have to grind. However, the payoff is humongous. Okay, I don't want to get too, too detailed on it because then the video is going to be too long. All right, how do you create passive and residual income? What does that mean? Passive and residual income is basically other income methods that pay you without you working directly into it, okay? Or putting very, very minimal amount of time into it and getting money for it, right? So for example, I run one coaching program called Close the Deal. I put in one hour a week, Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. I do an online lecture for my students. I have about 30 people in it and they all pay me $97 a month. Now I split that with somebody else who's the owner of another company, Arash, but I make $1,300 $1, a month off one hour a week, okay? I have another mastermind I make money off of. I sell my own products online for salespeople to learn how to sell better. I have a door knocking bundle for $277. On any given month, I'll sell anywhere from eight to 15 or 20. So I'll start adding it up. That's a lot of extra money I make that's not even me selling a house, which is my main means of income and source of income, right? That's basically what passive and residual income is, okay? So if I wanna break it down very simple for anybody watching so they can understand it, okay? So is it possible? Yes, can you do it at a younger age than me? Absolutely, I didn't get into the real estate business until I was probably 27 and now at age 30 I've created a very good lifestyle for myself in an industry where the failure rate is in the 90th percentile, 92, 93, 94%. I worked my ass off and I persevered. Now you guys see this, you see the house, you see me, you don't see the amount of doors I've knocked on, the cold calls I've made, the money I've invested into myself, which last year I invested about $40,000 into myself, which is seminars, events, uh, books, you know, CDs and tapes that I you know, get off people and study and learn from them, basically molding myself in the image of other people who are successful. So if this video serves any purpose, it's to inspire somebody out there who, who may be 
younger than me, maybe even older, and wants to get the finer things in life, like something in this, something like this, sorry. Okay, you can do it. I had no sales background and I got into real estate and I'm doing very well. So you can do the same thing. Start your own business. Be prepared to grind and go through it. Keep in mind that if you're following somebody else's path or you got a mentor and you're doing what they did, it will produce a result. All you need to do is persevere and see it through because most people give up and that's why they never succeed and have things like this. Okay, and realize that on the journey, you're gonna have very few friends. I used to have a billion friends. Now I can count them on one or two hands, close friends. And they're all pretty much business owners, right? I'm not saying the other people were bad or whatever, it's just different priorities. My journey was get out there, grind, get things like this, aspire to become the person I wanted to become, reach my potential, and then for me, a lot of material things I like, like you know, Lamborghinis, GTRs, nice houses, fancy dinners, that's stuff that I personally like and I wanted to go after it and I said, okay, it's gonna require a grind. I didn't come from money or anything else. I work for this, okay? Hopefully this video helps you. If there's anything I can do, if you're interested in maybe my close the deal program, if you wanna learn how to sell, reach out to me. If you're interested in my products, go to my website, briancasella.com. I'll put it in the description below. Again, I do real estate, I coach, I mentor, I speak. I go to a lot of exotic car meetups here in Southern California in the LA, Orange County area with my ride. You'll see me going around. I'll put my Instagram, my Facebook, and everything in the description. Hopefully this video inspires you. Um, subscribe to my channel. If you want some good content, uh, mindset, learning how to sell, seeing my car, all that, it's on my channel, and I hope you enjoy it, okay? Remember, if you want something, go after it, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise, all right? Brian Casella here, BC, Southern California, signing off.